Well, my iron chain don't hit me. That's something. There was a time when you were a very good mother to them. No one would deny you that. Oh, I love those kids. I love those kids almost as much as I'm... Thank you for delivering that letter. I, um... I couldn't help but notice that you could have mailed it, you know, or left it with the guard, but, um... You want to see me in person? Why? I'm not really sure, actually. Alan said something to me. Really? Annie, um... I just want you to know that... At one time, I cared about you. I cared about you very much. Yeah. I know that I know that you loved me when we were married, and I could tell. By the way you looked at me, you know, the things that you say to me, the way you talk, I could tell that you loved me. You know, I, I remember looking at you on our wedding day. At least, at least uh, what I thought was our wedding day. And I remember thinking that you were so beautiful inside and out. I remember thanking God that he had brought someone into my life that was so loving and caring, so giving, so wonderful to me and my children. Annie, I, I would like to believe that that woman is still inside of you somewhere. I have to hope that there's more to you than the vengeful, bitter woman you've become. What? Annie, I'm gonna say a little extra prayer for you tonight, and it's gonna be this, that you truly have hit rock bottom, and you're taking a good, long, hard look at yourself. Because sometimes that's what it takes to do that. To change, to turn around. And hopefully, the woman I once knew is still in you somewhere. Find her. Save her. Before it's too late and you can never find her again. How dare you? How dare you preach to me in your suit? With your perfect little family money coming out of your ears. How dare you, Judge? I am in here because of you! You can't possibly... I am what I am because of you and Reva! You and Reva did this to me! And I'm gonna say an extra little prayer for you two tonight, Josh. I'm gonna say one just for you. I'm gonna pray that you and Reva rot in hell forever! was fine before we were fine before Reva showed up but I had to fight for you every day I had to fight for your love Josh because of that woman and I did what I did because of her I'm not gonna stand here but you can't stand here and listen to this because it's the truth that psycho mom drove off the bridge and she left you drowning in grief and I saved Annie. you I saved you with my love and I loved you with everything I had in my body and it used to be enough for you and the kids we used to be happy we'd still be happy if she didn't come back from Goshen you know people say that I'm an addict why don't you look in the mirror you're the addict you are addicted to that Tulsa trash, that two-bit wannabe I love Reba. Shame. I have always loved Reba. Why don't I always you ever admit Reba. that you loved me? How could I have possibly loved a woman who wasn't honest to me a single day in our relationship, because Annie? Because you married me! We were never really married. Have you forgotten that? <laughs> it's so easy for an addict to justify everything. An addict? Me? Look who's talking! I didn't come here to yell at you, to argue with you. I came here to encourage you to learn from your mistakes and hope that someday someone or something will come along, Annie, that will make you happy. It did. It already did. Annie, I believe with all my heart that if you work at it, if you try, someday it will happen for you. But not here. Not here, not in this town. I never want to see you again. I never want to hear from you again. When you get out of that prison, don't come back to Springfield. 
Stay away from me. Stay away from my family. If you don't, you'll live to regret it. Goodbye. You think it's the end of this, Josh? It's only the beginning of the end. Stanley! Sweetheart! I need you!